guys, today we are making my watermelon kale and feta salad, which is going to be honestly your go-to summer salad this year. It's so easy and crazy flavorful. Plus watermelon is going crazy at the farmer's market right now. And side note, we're making a giant balsamic like batch vinaigrette recipe and the new Vitamix air disc container because it is changing my life one day at a time. You can make huge batches of vinaigrettes. We've made whipped cream before in it for 4th of July. You name it, I'm obsessed. And if we want, we could add like extra herbs or whatever. It kind of just crushes it up, gives it a little bit more flavor, infuses it. Wait till you see this thing in action. First things first, let's marinate some watermelon. We want to dice it, so we're just going to trim off one end. Look at that color. Tell me that doesn't make you happy. We're going to trim one end off and then the other end. Stand it up on its top, side. I don't really know what it's called. And then we're just going to carefully take our knife and run it along the sides all the way around. All right, and then once you have that, flip it over on its other side and just carefully shave off any little pieces you might have missed. And then we're in business. Now we're just going to flip the watermelon back on its side and kind of slice and dice it until we have a bunch of beautiful cubes just like this. Perfect, and then you can line a bunch of them up and just give it a dice. You want about one inch cube, so just like this. Then flip it around, dice it this way. Perfect, we'll transfer it to a bowl because we're gonna marinate this with some herbs and some shallots. I mean, look at that. Mm. All right, we'll just put all this in the bowl and maybe half of it will survive because I'm just gonna keep eating it. Okay, let's move this out of the way. We are going to marinate this in some mint. So just pick off the prettiest mint leaves you can find and then give this a little chop. That's gonna go on top. We'll mix all that together in a minute. Then we're gonna slice open a shallot. So slice it the top off and then slice it in half. Just like you would an onion, peel the outer layer of paper off. And then give it a really thin slice. Okay, perfect. So just kind of break those up with your fingers. And these are gonna go on top of the watermelon also. We're just gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil and some fresh cracked black pepper and some kosher salt. And then just grab a spoon and give it a toss so everything's combined. And we're gonna stick this in the fridge to like kind of marinate for at least an hour. You really want the shallots and the mint and everything to infuse into the watermelon. And meanwhile, we'll prep everything else. All right, so while the watermelon's in the fridge, we're just gonna prep some kale. And you guys know the drill with kale. You wanna get rid of this kind of really stocky piece. So we're just gonna tear them all off, just like that. And then these, we're just gonna try and roll up into one big burrito, if you will, and give these a slice. Okay, tear that up. This can go into our salad spinner. And I'm just gonna give this a quick rinse and then spin it dry. Okay, and then this can just go straight into our salad spinner, which I just have to tell you, I didn't have for a really long time. Now it's kind of amazing. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so the kale is just gonna go right into our serving platter, bowl, vessel, whatever. And here's the trick, when you're serving raw kale, you wanna massage the kale and like kind of let it loosen up. So we're just gonna put this right here, give it a tiny drizzle of olive oil, nothing crazy. Season it with some salt and some pepper. 
then get in there and just mix everything together with your hands. And just like the crushing of your hands on the kale is gonna just, it's not gonna wilt it, but it's just gonna calm it down ever so slightly and make it better. All right, the kale's massaged, the watermelon's marinating in the fridge. We're gonna get to the easiest and most life-changing part of this recipe. We're gonna make a batch of my mom's balsamic vinaigrette, like a big batch, because I wanna use it all week long. And the beauty of this is that everything is gonna go into the air disc container, and then when we turn it on, it's gonna emulsify really, really fast, so it's gonna come together in no time. So let's start with some olive oil. Pour it on in. Perfect. And then balsamic vinaigrette. You could easily use red wine vinaigrette too if that's more your jam. That's gonna go right on in here. Perfect. We're gonna put in plenty of salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. And then the last bit to this vinaigrette is some garlic. So just pop off two large cloves or three medium cloves. And then we'll just give this garlic a really rough chop. Perfect. And then this is just gonna go right into the container. And then we'll pop the top on and away we go. Watch this emulsify before your eyes. Full game changer right here. I just want you to know that was less than one second before it was perfectly emulsified. I'm gonna let it keep going for a minute, but can you imagine making vinaigrettes in less than 10 seconds? Brilliant. Also, side note, if you had any extra thyme or basil or tarragon or any kind of fresh herb on hand, you could easily add it to the air disc container and it would partially chop it up and infuse the vinaigrette with even more flavor. So if you've got a garden, I don't. Go for it. Okay, so look at that vinaigrette. Perfect. I mean, actually it's perfect. I'm so excited about life right now. So let's just leave this right here. We'll get the watermelon out of the fridge and we'll put the salad together. All right, here we go. We've got the kale, we've got the watermelon. The last thing we have to do is prep the feta, which we've talked about before. And if you still buy pre-crumbled feta, I need you to come over to the new side of life because what you have to buy are the sheets of feta, like this. It's so much more flavorful because it hasn't been crumbled up, there's nuts or weird things on it, and it's preserved in its brine, so it's perfect. We're just gonna take a knife and cube the feta similar size to the watermelon. And this is just gonna add a nice salty finish to our salad. All right, we'll just push that right over here. Don't judge me. Okay, watermelon, I'm gonna rest right here and just spoon it on top of the kale. We'll give it a toss in a second. Feel free to add as much or as little as you want. I like a lot of watermelon in my salad because it's so refreshing in the summer. Okay, we'll just give this a little bit of a toss. Then we'll go ahead and just top it with the feta. Easy peasy, maybe a little bit more watermelon on top, and then we can take our perfectly emulsified vinaigrette and just drizzle it right on top. Look at that. I mean, it's perfect. All right, so we're just gonna finish this off with a little salt, a little extra freshly cracked black pepper, and this beauty is ready to come with me to a barbecue, a pool party, wherever I wanna go. The full recipe is on whatsgobbycooking.com and I will see you guys soon.